Hey guys, I am not Duelist Den, I am Master Swag King, and I want to thank the Duelist Den for this guest upload, he's a really cool guy, and I'm so glad he let me guest upload on his channel for all of you guys, and I would like to share this information with you, because if you have reprints, you can make money from them, so let's get right into it. So, generally, when a card gets announced as a reprint, that makes the original rarity for the card technically go, technically go down. So this was sitting at about, I'm going to say highest 40 bucks before this rarity of it got announced. When this rarity got announced, you obviously see it where it's kind of at now, where most people expected it to be. Lowest, it was like 25 $25, okay? So when this reprint gets announced for it, it goes down further. It goes down to $22. Now, the reason why this went back up is because it's the, it's the original rarity. A lot of people like that. For collecting purposes, they're hollowing out their meta decks. Okay. So, for you to make money off your reprints, it's a very, uh, a very th common thing that I like to think of and I, um, that I like to tell people is that, okay, so vendors usually know that selling these higher rarity first edition cards from the set usually are a lot harder to get rid of because not a lot of people are going to be interested in that. There's not, not a lot of, if you don't have a lot of, obviously, meta players coming to you or if you don't have a lot of, you know, collectors coming to you, it's hard. It's harder generally to get rid of cards like these. But it's a lot easier to get rid of cards like these two. Now, how would you make money off of, of a reprint? Because before this $6 price tag you see right here, this card was not $6. This, when it first got announced for this reprint and a lot of, it actually got released to the public and we all had it, it was like $2, $2 to $3. Now, you would have thought, yeah, that's a pretty pretty decent price for it, but how do you think vendors make money off these reprints? People are naturally going to go to the to the lowest rarity of a card just to get it, just to have it. Some meta players do it too. Uh, I've seen a fair share amount of them do it because that's how you would make money from them. Okay, they're like, well, can't make money off this hardly because it's, this – applies to a certain niche portion of the player base but a lot of people have a lot more access to these they're like oh well we bought a, bun a bunch of premium gold infinite gold and we got a bunch of these and but they're cheap but the players are going to need this so rise it up you're you, you, it's the lowest rarity this is this is the max they feel that they can charge for it there you go i tell you make money off a reprint now how how you can make money off the reprint so, okay so it's just a thing that I see a lot of players do and that you probably should think just because a card gets reprinted doesn't mean it's always going to stay at that price. Let's look at this for example. Okay, so this was this is kind of where it's at right now, the time you're recording this video. It's always kind of been at $20 for the Degusto Hidden Arts 7 Secret Rare. When it, and obviously the, the, the DT fluctuates between like $25, $40 generally. But let's not look at that for an example. Now... When this when this got announced for a reprint in the Shadow Foil version, as you'll see in right here, where I'm gonna bring it up right now, it was announced for a reprint. You see, obviously, the Shadow Foil being 15, but but this wasn't uh like it, it was generally a short print for the Battles of Legend three set. Then comes Premium Gold Infinite Gold, where you have the that goes to Emerald reprint. Now you finally see a dip in their price. This was seven dollars. I heard people giving these away at locals for free. Now. Those people that that could have given that was that were just giving these away for free could have made right now at the, at the time of me recording this video if you did if you got rid of all of them you could have made sixteen dollars off your reprint. That's crazy. No, it's not. You know why? You know why it's not mind blowing to make money off your money off your reprints? It's because if you have a couple of them and you know that they're going to be meta prevalent generally, like did like obviously this is generic. This is generic. Uh, they, they, I'll, I'll get to something like this in a moment. This is mo um, deck specific, but can, but it's an engine that people will use. Generally, cards like that and their reprint stay in price because it's something that people will always use and something that people will always ha generally have. You can make money off this by keeping a couple of these. Don't just give these away. If you had these, why would you give these away? It was like Dag it was Dagosto Emerald's first massive reprint, and everyone had it. I understand the, the logic behind it, but then you have to realize. Why don't you just keep two for yourself? Vendors are going to um, generally raise the prices on these reprint cards because that's how you're going to make money. Not every person is going to want the Shadow Foil version of this because that's obviously – not a lot of people care about rarity, but people do care about getting the card. And getting the cheapest version is bam. There, there you go. Right there. Right there you have it. Now, another example of what you could have made money for reprint. 
Now, when Dragon's a, now when Dragon's a legend, when ABC came to the TCG, or before they came to the TCG, I'm sorry about that. This was peanuts. Twenty five, I'd say twenty five cents to right now where you see it two dollars. Same thing with this. Reprint gets in there. Uh, the ABC cards come out. You saw the Sukiyomi ulti that was like ten. I was uh, seven bucks go up to twenty five. These were twenty to and fifteen dollars, and th and this wasn't generic. Obviously, this is specific specifically towards light decks. If you had a couple of these mega pack reprints that you probably threw away or gave away for free, you could have made. Eleven dollars, fourteen, twenty, potentially twenty dollars free profit, and in trade. Like I know a lot of people don't like, you know, making money up, like selling their card online, or you know, something in real life because they prefer trades. That's fine, but you could have just made in, you you could have doubled what you had just by keeping it. You keeping it, obviously, is not going to hurt you because if it gets met, if it gets meta use, bam, instantly. Now I'm not saying keep all of them. What I'm saying is that you should just keep a couple just in case because you never know it's been proven that cards like this go up these were not sixes these were two back in the day back in the day <laughs> a while ago these were two a while ago this wasn't eight this was this was six this was five to six dollars this was seven to seven to ten bucks it was not 16 bucks another thing is artifact sanctum artifact sanctum this reprint of after hat it kind of fell to like where, where it was like you saw it at six, ten, a reasonable price. Shot up. The original rarity was forty before the Battles of Legend Lights Revenge, Re Lights Revenge reprint. Now you have this right here. This, where you could have had, you could have made, you had the Mega Pack reprint where it was like twenty five dollars. You could have made a free t t potential nineteen dollars by keeping this reprint that was no one was using, but. That is neither here nor there, but I'm just giving you, you know, personal exa examples of how keeping your reprints is a good thing and can make you money. So yeah, I would like to thank Duelist Den for the guest upload. He is a great guy. Please, if you enjoyed the video and the content that I just provided you for this guest upload, please come subscribe to the channel, Master Swag King. I would love your support, and I'm currently growing as well. We can all be friends together, and we can all join and play this game we know and love Yu-Gi-Oh! But I would like to share my advice with you guys on how to make money if your reprints. Like, like I said, not all I've repr not all the reprints that I mentioned are going to you know skyrocket in value or make money, but these are some, some very key few examples. Obviously, don't keep like Rune Eyes, Pendulum Dragon, I think that's gonna go up in price. That's not. I'm talking about generic stuff or very very specific cards that will come out and will be useful that are obviously used in the game. But yeah, thanks, Rank Duelist Den, Duelist Den, I love you man. Thanks for guest upload. I'll see you guys on my channel if you come subscribe.